All right, so today is um, Friday, uh, April, or May, I don't even know. Um, and we're not actually going fishing today. I just woke up, um, and instead of fishing um, today, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how I get ready for a fishing trip. On Saturday, I'm going to Paradise Pier, uh, right at the crack of dawn, and uh, we're gonna be bringing a lot of stuff. There's gonna be lots of stuff that we're doing, so I thought that this would be a cool day to kind of go over how I prepare, what the rigs I use, um, and overall just how I prepare for a, a saltwater fishing trip um, to the pier. And uh, I think we're going to try and be there a little bit long, and this, we're going to be bringing some friends um, because, you know, we haven't been able to see them that much, uh, so they're going to do what we've been, me and Zach have been doing, which is social distance fishing. Um, so yeah, I think it's gonna be really cool. So uh, today's gonna be kind of like a vlog and I'm just gonna kind of go over what I do on a day-to-day -day or on a daily basis. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. One thing that I like to do is make a list of everything that I know I either want to bring or need to do, whether that be make sandwiches for tomorrow, make rigs, buy bait, all that stuff I write down in a list. Um, and I try and write that list a couple of days before the planning day, which is the day before I go fishing. Uh, one thing that I can that I'll say that I cannot stress enough is always start planning early. Like, what you really don't want to do is wake up at five thirty the day of and have to get everything set up because I'm telling you one hundred percent you're gonna forget something. And that one thing can be very important sometimes. So just do yourself a favor, plan ahead, um, and make yourself a list. Uh, it seems simple, but I'm telling you, it will save you so much time and energy. All right, I've talked about uh, planning a little bit. Now let's talk about kind of what I'm planning on bringing, at least rods uh, and uh, uh, rods and rigs um, wise. So I'm gonna be bringing, or me and Jack combined, are gonna be bringing one, two, three, four, five rods. So we'll have uh, three spinning and two bait casters. Um, and all of them except for this one are gonna be for halibut. This one's gonna be for stingrays and sharks um, <clears throat> So let's just quickly go over the rig uh, for all the halibut rods. I've got a little halibut rig um, Video if you want to know how to tie a halibut rig uh, a Really really good video is gonna be appearing in one of the corners right now. So I, I just got a little I would prefer I would prefer a three-way swivel, but I have a snap swivel that I just turned kind of into a three-way swivel um, I got one side going to a two ounce weight on 15 pound mono, and then I have 100 or 50 pound mono going to a six aught circle hook. And that's what it's like for this rod, that rod, that rod, and that rod. That's, that's the rig that I have on all, all of them. And then um, on this rod right here, I just got a Carolina rig down to a Gamamatsu worm hook. I know worm hooks are meant for bass fishing, but they work so well for these stingrays, I don't know why, but I've just always used them, and I'm probably just gonna still use it. Um, and then I'm also, for bait, I'm gonna be buying, I'll explain what I'm buying for bait later on today. I'm gonna make a West, uh, bike ride to West Marines, and I'll show you all that. But one of the things that I'm gonna be buying is a mackerel, whole mackerel, and I don't know really what's gonna bite it. I've done some research, and it looks like tuna, um, sharks, rays, uh, we'll bite mackerel. We don't really have tuna in the bay, so I, I don't. I would be very, very, very surprised if we got a tuna. I'm thinking that we might catch a shark or a ray. I really love to catch a shark. I haven't caught a shark in so long. The season for leopards is just opening up, so it would be dope if we could catch like a six six foot like leopard shark. That would be awesome. So uh, I'm gonna have to maybe make that rig a little bit heavier uh, to hold the mackerel. Uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, so. That's kind of the general rigging uh, rods kind of setup that we're gonna be using. Um, and then I just finished making a couple extra um, halibut rigs because I have some friends that are gonna come and they have some rods but they don't have rigs so I, I just tied them up for them. So yeah. Here is my list. Um, uh, yeah, so let's just go over it. I'm gonna be purchasing some mackerel from West Marines. I got some squid uh, and Zach's gonna be getting some. I'm gonna get some anchovies, not live, uh, just because that doesn't work for us, we can't get live anchovies, but I am gonna try and catch them. Uh, some masks, uh, some big swivels, uh, bigger snap swivels, some big, I should say three-way swivels. Um, some big size uh, eight-aught hooks, maybe. Um, some size one-aught hooks, some size six-aught hooks, some treble hooks, I don't really know what size yet. Uh, bait container, 
which we actually got yesterday. Um, but I'm not gonna cross that off the list yet because I wanna have everything in one area before I can cross it off. Um, I got my bubble box. I'm gonna try and get the last one at West Marines. There's one more, so I'm gonna try and get it. Uh, a landing net, whether that be a crab net or the net that I own right now. I'm not really sure if I have enough to get a crab net this time. Um, camera gear. Now this is not something that everyone will be using, but if you're gonna film uh, your fishing trip, uh, you know, charging everything up, your drone, your camera, your phone, whatever you might use to film. So getting all that situated, uh, getting all the rods and reels situated, situated dog food. Um, I'm gonna be using dog food because I'm gonna use it as chum and I'm gonna throw it in the water and then throw a cast net, uh, which brings us to the next thing, the cast net, uh, that speaky rig, catch bait, our fishing backpack, which holds our lures and stuff, some water bottles, hand sanitizer, and a fillet knife if we end up filleting our catch at the pier. And then I also have a thing that says things to make day of, right? I'm gonna make some tuna salad sandwiches that morning uh, for us to eat at the pier at lunch. So making a list, I cannot stress it enough, is so, so important. A few changes to the list. First of all, I've added Miracle Bait Thread. And then as you know, or as you can see, I've added these little boxes. And I added these because I wanna be able to cross off an item when I put it in the corner. And I also wanna be able to kind of cross off the item once it's in the car ready to go. So if I have the thing or the item in the corner, crossed off, if it's in the car, fill the box in. So I've uh, put the bait container over there. I put the rods and the reels over there. I put the fishing backpack over there, put the cast net over there. And I put one of the landing nets over there. Uh, that is it. I, oh, and I also have the hand sanitizer over there and speaky rig over there. So we only got, a little bit, a couple stuff left, um, but yeah, we're making really good progress. It's about midday now, and in a couple of hours, we're gonna make our trip down to West Marines and uh, pick up all the stuff that we don't already have. Only two o'clock, I just finished all my school. I just grinded it all out. And now I can focus on entirely fishing. Um, we can just start it for all, all uh, purposes. Um, so yeah, once again, I'm just gonna go back to this list. Um, a lot of these things have been crossed out, and uh, in a couple of minutes, or about 30 minutes here now, I'm gonna go down to uh, West Marines and the little bait shop next to it um, to, to pick up everything else that we have on this list. Um, so I think that that while it looks like there is still a lot of things on the list and it's getting later in the day, the majority of those things uh, I get at West Marines. So that list should go down really quickly. What I like to do when I go to West Marines is take a photo of my list. That way I have a reference of what I'm buying. And even before, because I bring cash on the credit card to West Marines, I try and figure out about uh, estimated prices of all the things. Um, so I think I should have enough money to, to pay off or to pay, pay for everything, but uh, we'll see. So yeah. All right, it is currently 5.20 and we got everything that we need from West Marines right in this blog bag right here. So um, I'm gonna go put this in the tackle box and cross them off my list. So at the end of the day, it's like 8.30. 99% um, of the stuff has been completely crossed off and is already inside of the car. Uh, the only things that are left are the bait, which I'm going to put in obviously in the morning, uh, the camera gear, which I still need to finish charging, the water, and the tuna salad sandwiches. So very, very productive day. And um, yeah, I just kind of showed you guys how I, uh, you know, do everything. So uh, before I sign off for the end of the video, let me just show you what it looks like in the car. Right, I got the backpack. I have... This is where I'm gonna be holding the two salad sandwiches. I got a small bucket with a cast net, uh, dog food, uh, just extra rope. We got our little makeshift rope net. And we got all the rods right there. And uh, there we go, we got the cooler. It's a live bait cooler. So uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much everything inside the car. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's go fishing.